14 years old is really young. To move away from home, you have to grow up a little bit. This year is the year where we need to fix everything. Stand up straight, way up on your legs. Some people my age might not know what they want to be yet, but if somebody asks us, we automatically say a ballet dancer. It's what I love, so I can't give up now. I just read, you have been accepted to the School of American Ballet. And I was so excited. I just yelled to my mom, I was like, Mom, I got in! I remember starting ballet, I remember coming out of my first class. I couldn't wait to go back. I just really didn't think that it was possible for me to ever come to School of American Ballet because it's one of the best schools in the country. It was just a dream come true. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I had a ton of energy when I was little, so my mom decided to put me into ballet when I was two years old, and I loved it ever since. Stand as tall as you can. Stomach connected to your back, chest forward. Okay, here we go. Ready, and then me one. Head straight front, two, and grand. Lift up as you go down. Through the toes each time. Stay tall so you don't tuck under. And knees go side as you plie and forward over. We're in the intermediate division B2, and next year we start the advanced division, which is levels C1, C2, and D. So stand up straight to start with. You need to be way up on your legs and this connected to your back. Breathing. So slowly out. This year is the year where we need to fix everything so you can have a strong technique, and then the next year, you pick even more and more at those flaws. And bend, and bend, and bend, and straight. En quoi? By your last year here, you really want to be ready to be in a company. I mean, all the girls in level D are really amazing, and we look up to them so much. I hope that I'm as good as them when I'm that age. And go! When I was younger, I was in C1, and the D girls, I was so intimidated by them. They were the older kids, and I was the new young kid, and I was very scared of them. Now being an upperclassman, it's strange. I still feel like the same C1 girl that came in and was terrified. <laughs> I was 14 years old when I came to the School of American Ballet. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but as soon as I stepped into the doors and you see that everyone is so serious about what they do and everyone loves it, and that's what they want to do for the rest of their lives, I just get chills. Some people my age might not know what they want to be yet, but if somebody asks us, what do you want to be when you grow up? We automatically say a ballet dancer. for the school, you really have to dedicate yourself to your art form. So we have dormitories for students who are away from home. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> they make a lot of friends, but you definitely are sacrificing not living at home. There's an amazing staff that lives with us, but 14 years old is really young. To move away from home, you have to grow up a little bit. So my color this year, I'm in B2. We all wear navies, so navy leotards. Well, hopefully next year I'll be wearing black. I'm still kind of getting used to uh, the whole laundry thing, so I just buy these. They make it a lot easier, and I just put those in. It wasn't always my plan to move from Los Angeles to New York, not living with your family for ballet school. But you have to be responsible for yourself. Even when you're 14, you have to remember to get yourself up for school and do your laundry on time and get your homework done. It's gone for me, I've been here for four and a half years, so I've been through almost every stage. I really was definitely nervous about meeting new people and just doing things on your own. I mean, a lot of normal concerns, I think, when you're going away from home at all. Did you put one down? Yeah, I put one down. <laughs> no, but like, 
Uh, I don't know. It's definitely not the normal teenager lifestyle, so that was a huge part of the decision moving to New York to try to be professional dancers. <laughs> but me and Stephanie met, and she's definitely one of my closest friends. We spend a lot of time together, we live together, we're in the same classes, we get along really well, so it's nice to have somebody. The first year coming to the School of American Ballet, it's a whirlwind. You have no idea what you're stepping into. They're here 24 hours a day, they live upstairs, they have to do their academic schooling also. So they have a full day and it's a challenge. Being a teenager and a ballet dancer at the same time is difficult. We're always at practice, rehearsals, stretching, doing homework. We don't really have enough time to do any of the usual teenager stuff. We can't go out to parties every weekend. We have to stretch and we have to go to class and go to Pilates, no talking in the classroom, no hanging on the bars, no messing around, no chewing gum. Your hair has to be neat. You can have a big hole in your tights, but it's all worth it when you're dancing. The challenge is to keep them interested because they're here 24 hours a day. You just have to keep the spirits high. I have three years and I really want to be in the company. Can't really imagine doing anything else. It's what I love, so I can't give up now. I can't just let it go, so I'm not gonna stop. I was so nervous about coming to SAB. The most challenging thing has been trying to pick up the particular technique here. People see dancing as this simple art where people just go up and, you know, they turn on their toes, but you can fall over and make the ugliest face in football. If we do a pirouette and we have our tongue out, we're going to be on the front of the New York Times. Lower, 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 low, Alec Moore. 